the scanning technique for the right adrenal gland in lateral recumbent canine patients. In this ultrasound, the following technical aspects are recommended. A linear transducer with three to four centimeter depth will provide the best image. Utilize high frequencies with or without harmonics. The general gain should be maintained at approximately 60 to 65%. Select the third or fourth TGC curve from the drop-down menu. Place the patient in left lateral recumbency so its limbs are directed towards the sonographer. This will allow one person to have control over the patient's front and hind limbs. This position is also preferable since it seems more comfortable for the patient. For this position, clipping will be more generous to allow the sonographer to reach the desired area. This is something to consider when speaking to the pet owner. For long axis scans, place the transducer caudal to the last right-sided rib dorsally and begin searching for the anatomic landmarks. Ensure the long axis marker is pointed cranially. Please note that when searching for the right adrenal gland, more pressure will be needed to reach the dorsal retroperitoneal space compared to the left adrenal. Use the long axis view of the right kidney as a reference point. Then fan medially to locate the cranial pole of the right kidney. The long axis view of the caudal vena cava is a critical landmark. Failure to locate it can lead to significant difficulty in finding the right adrenal gland. The caudal vena cava lies ventral to the aorta. The long axis plane of the caudal vena cava can be achieved by slowly rotating the transducer. The right adrenal gland abuts the caudal vena cava in an oblique plane relative to the caudal vena cava itself. It is very important to fan dorsally with subtle movements of the probe only a couple millimeters from the caudal vena cava. Once the right adrenal gland is found, the caudal pole will be visible. Very slow fanning is highly recommended, as rapid fanning will make identification of this small organ difficult. It is also very important to use Doppler to identify and differentiate the right adrenal from local vessels and small lymph nodes. On the right side, the right adrenal gland has a narrow head. It should be noted that in larger dogs, it would be difficult to visualize the entire right adrenal. Usually the right caudal pole of the adrenal is more readily available. Using a high frequency transducer will help to differentiate the cortex from the medulla. Make sure to measure the widths of the cranial and caudal poles respectively in order to compare it to normal reference points. It is important that the aforementioned landmarks are included in the recorded videos to achieve a high rate of success in locating the right adrenal. If visualization is challenging in the long axis, use color Doppler and the transverse plane. Ensure the marker is always pointing to the right of the patient during short axis views. 